in general, we should see the Internet of Things as an extension of ourselves. So these are tools in the same way that a knife is a tool, and obviously it has two sides to it. Um, the difference with this tool is that it's on size, uh, on reach, and on impact, much larger than a human being. Any other tool is kind of manageable. Uh, then, uh, because of communications, it's larger that larger that oneself. Um, that is quite quite important, and for that is the complexity. And then there is also the fact that is digitized. This happens because of digitalization. And the problem with digitalization of anything is that there is not transparency. Mechanics is something that you can see. It's a machine that you can see how it works and you can understand it. Digitalization makes it very difficult for people to understand. So all of a sudden we have tools that are larger than humanity and, um, and uh, are, we're not able to understand them. In, even the researchers that develop uh, machine learning and neural networks have difficulties to understand how an AI has come to the conclusion that uh, that has achieved. Something that I find very interesting is that we we forget a few things. We forget that this is evolving, so it's early stages, and of course there is going to be mistakes. We blame the technologies, but obviously you have to think of who owns and manages those technologies. So there is the companies, and then there is the technologies. So we need to separate very well and not blame the actual innovations. But in general, when you want to belong to a bigger thing to create bigger things, um, you have to be fixed to some kind of system there is going to be a dependency and that happens already with governments what i find very interesting and we have many examples today unfortunately with brexit and the states and so on uh, is that it seems that for some reason politics can take humanity and society backwards but i strongly believe technology whatever happens will always take us forward